it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for the love of. If you're joining for the first time, I want to say welcome. Thanks for taking the time to click on this Bath and Body Works Candle Day 2020 online haul. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, as always, welcome on back, you guys. I have been waiting all season <laughs> to do this haul for you guys. I know a lot of you that went in store, um, a lot of people that do YouTube videos already posted their hauls online, but I um, was not able to make it in store on Candle Day, so I opted for an online order. Um, I said this last year, the thing that stinks about doing online orders, you can't use coupons, but I wasn't able to get in store. I'm happy I ordered online when I did. Yes, I was one of those people that was up at 6 a.m. I think it started at 6 a.m. I think I did my order around 6.30 a.m. Kept crashing, kept crashing, kept trying it again, and finally my order went through. I'm happy to announce I did not have any cancellations in this order. It did take a little while to get here. Um, I ordered it on, what was it, Saturday? I believe Friday or Saturday it launched, and it is, I'm filming this on a Thursday, so a little less than a week, not too, too bad. I was just happy none of my candles got canceled like last season. So I wanted to share them with you. I'm going to do a rapid kind of haul. I actually don't remember which ones I got. I know there's a couple of ones that I knew I really wanted to grab, which I did, but some of them are kind of oddballs. So I wanted to share them with you, give you guys my first sniff impressions. Before I dive into the video, I will have this video time stamped if you're looking for specific candles, my feedback on certain scents. Definitely check the description of my video. I will have it time stamped for each candle. I hope you guys are all doing well. I can't believe, I already have my holiday decor up. Can't believe we are so close to Christmas. I hope you guys are enjoying the holiday season. Um, tomorrow, at least at the date of filming this, tomorrow is the beginning of Hanukkah. So for those of you that celebrate that, happy Hanukkah. Holidays are upon us. I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday burns. I see everyone online posting all of their candles from either Yankee or, or Homeworks or Scentworks. I just have not been burning as many candles as of late. So this will be the last, probably the last Bath & Body Works haul you see from me this season. I did see online a couple people posted, I think there's one final Christmas or kind of New Year's Eve-ish type collection that came out from Bath & Body Works. That's not going to be any of these candles because I think that came out afterwards um, but a lot of these are ones some of you guys have seen me review and then there's some new ones on there too so hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are enjoying your holiday season but you clicked on this video to see some candles see my thoughts on it so without further ado let's just uh let's jump into the haul and before i dive into the haul i do want to mention so i'll give you guys the price points on these for those of you that aren't familiar so candle day this year they had them at 9.95 a piece I wish I could have used coupons, but I did pay that $9.95 a piece per candle. And I believe I did wind up paying shipping, yes, $5.99 shipping and handling. Really wish they would have come shipping and handling if you ordered over like four or five candles, but you know, it is what it is. This year they did package these very nicely. I think last year mine may have come in two different orders and they had those kind of flimsy candle crates, but they did pack it so they double stacked this. There's obviously candles underneath this. So I appreciate how they packed these this year. I've kind of been on the fence with Bath & Body Works candle crates that they pack their candles in. You've heard me mention it before, but hats off to Bath & Body Works. So far I'm not hearing any broken glass. So I'll just pull these at random. I'll start off with the candle that's on top and let's see which of this one is. Okay, so I kind of remember ordering this one. I got this one because I'm going to use this one in the spring and it is one of my favorites. I love the packaging on this one. I did grab a strawberry pound cake. Pretty swirly kind of packaging on there. I love this scent. Um, if I remember in the past, this one, the throw is okay-ish. Um, but I remember this one, I wish it would have thrown a little more. Um, I feel like a uh, blueberry pie tends to throw a little bit stronger than the uh, strawberry pound cake, but I do enjoy the scent. I'll use this in the spring. Let me read you the notes for those of you that aren't familiar for strawberry pound cake. The notes include fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. 
just a really yummy strawberry fragrance. To me, the strawberry and strawberry pound cake isn't super artificial. Sometimes Bath & Body Works fruit type scents can be kind of fakey, kind of artificially, but I do get the shortbread, I get the strawberry, and I get a little bit of that whipped cream. Cute packaging. This one I won't wind up burning until the springtime. Any of these candles that you guys see me talking about today, don't know if I'm going to wind up doing post burn reviews on them since some of these I'll be using later in the season. If I do wind up burning any of them, you guys might see me do Instagram follow ups on the candles. So that was strawberry pound cake and give me a minute to unbox the rest of these and I'll show you what I got. All right. And before I dive into the rest of the candles, one more thing on packaging. Those of you who have watched me for a while, I appreciate when companies actually properly package their products. Underneath that first candle crate, there was actually a nice sturdy piece of cardboard holding the rest of the candles. I think they packed these really nicely this year. Look how pretty that is with all those lids. And um, from what it seems like, these are very, very secure in here. I don't know if they made these candle crates a little more sturdy than in seasons past, but I'm gonna grab the one that I know is a repurchase for me that you guys have seen a review on. I wound up grabbing another Tree Farm. I like the packaging on this. Um, I believe Tree Farm has come out in another package that wasn't available on Candle Day. I think I saw it, uh, Sean Hearth and Soul, I think may have posted on it. Some of them are available online now, but I would have liked to have snagged the other packaging of Tree Farm, but this one is very, very cute. If you guys aren't familiar, um, I did do an actual review of Tree Farm. This is probably one of my favorite piney Christmas tree type scents that Bath & Body Works is carrying this season. Let me read you the notes. The notes for Tree Farm are crisp pine needles, warm cedar, and spiced apple. It's just a very cozy, semi-rustic Christmas tree type scent. Not over the top, not as in your face as fresh balsam. If you're interested, I do have a full-on review of Tree Farm, so that's Tree Farm right there. Let's see what else we got. Some of these other ones, I don't even know which ones I wound up grabbing. Ooh, I do remember ordering this. So again, those of you who have followed me for a while, typically in the new year, what I'll wind up doing right before I transition to like my floral fragrances, I am a fan of those kind of body care, perfumey type scents. So this one I plan to kind of burn like in January, maybe in February. I did grab a You're the One. Look at the packaging on that one. So I did actually purchase the small hand cream of You're the One. I think I had a freebie, a uh, free body care item, miniature body care item, and I grabbed the hand cream of You're the One and I really liked it. Um, well, I don't usually purchase too, too much of body care from Bath & Body Works other than maybe the shower gels. I did really enjoy this scent and I think it'd make a really pretty candle. I miss that Bath & Body Works used to do a lot of coordinating um, body care candles that went with their body care items. So I was happy to see that they brought this out in candle form. Let me read you the notes of You Are The One. The notes are white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. So I don't get too, too much strawberry. If you don't, it doesn't remind me of a strawberry body care. I really just get like a smooth floral, almost a semi perfumey floral. They're saying velvety rose and white birch. That's definitely more of what I'm getting from this candle. I don't get a super strong swap, um, super strong strawberry note to it. Um, it's not fruity. To me, this isn't fruity. To me, this is more of a body care scent. So I can't wait to try this one out. Um, I may not I may not be able to wait till January or February to burn this one. So this one I may test out. Follow me on Instagram. I will do follow-ups on some of these candles, the ones that I do wind up burning this season. And moving right along. Some of these I don't even remember. Again, this one you guys have seen me purchase and review before. Had to grab another one of these. This was from their aromatherapy collection, one of my favorite aromatherapy fragrances, and that's none other than lavender and cedarwood. I am, um, when I buy Bath and Body Works, like lotions and, and shower gels and body care, more times than not, it's the aromatherapy lines that I'm drawn to. I actually just finished up using a lotion from this fragrance, and um, I'm kind of bummed it's empty. 
Love this scent, very strong, um, just a very strong herbaceous kind of lavender. To me, it's not super heavy on cedar wood, but you get a bit of a warmth. Let me read you the notes. The notes are lavender and cedar wood, go figure. If you're interested, I do have some reviews up of several of Bath & Body Works aromatherapy candles. Some of the reviews are a little bit older, but I do know I've reviewed this one and I think I've reviewed Comfort and maybe a handful more. So I do have reviews up on these ones. When I burn this, I will of course do a follow up on Instagram. And we have three more candles. I think I opted to not get too, too many Christmas ones this season because I, I still have a lot I have to burn through anyways. Again, those of you who have followed me for a while, not gonna be surprised on this one. I loved the packaging on this one. I think I've burned this one in seasons past, but I had to grab a lavender spa. Look at that really unique packaging on this one. I love a good lavender fragrance. I think I've used this one before. Yeah, this one's amazing. Um, this kind of reminds me of Yankee Candle Sugared Wildflowers. Um, those of you who have burned that candle, just a really beautiful, delicate lavender. It's not an over-the-top herbaceous French lavender. It does have lavender in it, but it's got a bit of a smoothness to it as well. The notes for Lavender Spa are soft lavender waves, vanilla sea foam, and coconut water. That's probably what smooths it out. I don't get too, too much coconut. Um, years ago, Bath & Body Works had a lavender coconut, and I'm not a coconut fan. I don't like just coconut fragrances, but the lavender coconut was really, really pretty. I would suspect maybe this is a repackage of that. It might be. I wish I had one of those old candles to compare it to, but that's Lavender Spa right there. If you like lavender scents that aren't herbaceous lavender, a little more smoother, definitely check out Lavender Spa if it's still available. This one's very, very pretty. Can't wait to try this one in the spring. And again, some of these I might, I might not be patient. I may wind up trying some of them. I do think I have a couple more Christmas ones in here. So again, this is one I almost got this fall, but I didn't really know what I would burn with it because I was burning a lot of apple, a lot of pumpkin, but I thought this would be another really pretty, perfumey kind of body care transitional type fragrance. And that is Cozy Cashmere. This one came out, I believe in the fall. And like I said, I passed on it because I didn't know what I would burn it with, but I decided to grab it now. Very pretty. I remember in store when I was smelling this one, it seemed a little bit, it seemed a little bit lighter. So that's gonna be my only problem with this one. I'm afraid it might be a little bit light. Again, when I wind up burning this one and testing it out, I'll definitely let you guys know. Let me read you the notes for Cozy Cashmere. The notes are smooth lavender, warm vanilla, and comforting sandalwood. It's just a very pretty, delicate fragrance. I do get, it's not overly lavender. I get a little more of that smooth sandalwood. It says warm vanilla. I actually get like a little bit of maybe a tonka, like a smooth tonka. This one's gonna be very delicate. If you like a stronger scent, I would say maybe steer clear of this one. Again, I haven't burned it, but to me on cold, it seems a little bit light. I will wind up of course doing follow-ups on that one. And we have one more. I think I at least grabbed one more Christmas one. Yes, I did. Okay, good job. I go, I can't believe I didn't grab any more Christmas one. So this one I think was an online exclusive. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I saw it online and I was toying around with the idea of getting it, but I'm kind of starting to become a fan of those rustic, semi-woodsy type fragrances. So I grabbed a balsam and firewood. First of all, the packaging on this one's very, very pretty. Really gorgeous, aesthetic, kind of classic. Let me read you the notes, and this will be my first time smelling this one, so let me read you the notes first, and then I'll tell you what I think. The notes are cedarwood, cardamom, white birch, and then of course, essential oils. Let's see. This one is really, really nice. Um, 
very, very cozy, very, very rustic. Um, to me, this one is almost, it reminds me of Woodwick's Fireside, if that makes sense. If some of you have smelt Woodwick's Fireside, that's what this one reminds me of, but it's got just a little, little bit of like a balsam. Um, it's not over the top. It doesn't remind me of like fresh cut balsam or even evergreen or anything like that. It's just got a little bit of a smoothness similar to Woodwick's Fireside. That's kind of the closest thing I can, I can describe it to. I'm not a huge fan of Bath and Body Works just straight I think they have a straight fire side. Um, that one's too, too much for me. This has a bit of a smokiness. So if you don't like smoky, you might not like this one. It has a bit of a smokiness, a little bit of a rustic vibe, but you get a little, little bit of that kind of pine balsamy type feeling going on. I think this one's gonna be really, really pretty to burn, like on a cool evening. Doesn't necessarily scream Christmas. This one you could probably almost see yourself burning in the fall just because of like the embery kind of vibe to it, but I can't wait to try this one out. Definitely reminds me, yeah, definitely reminds me of like a fireplace kind of smoldering, almost woodsy with a hint of balsam. Very, very pretty. Hopefully this one has a good throw, which I imagine it would. And then you guys, that, that's it on my Candle Day haul for Candle Day 2020. I feel like each year I'm getting less and less candles and that's just, I don't burn candles as much as I used to. My uh, vanilla balsam I have going on right behind me, that's literally the second Bath and Body Works candle I've worked through this season. I have one more tree farm and now that I actually have my second tree farm, that's probably all I'll get through this season. I'm melting a lot more wax than I am burning candles, but I know a lot of these ones I'll wind up using later on in the season. If you guys have used any of the candles that I talked about today, leave it in the comments below. Let me know which ones are your favorites. Let me know what you guys got on candle day. Did you guys buy anything? Did you go in store? I know in stores they sold out, or I know online they sold out super, super early. Um, I did wind up hitting one of my local stores the day after I did my online order. Um, I happened to be at the shopping center for something else and I go, eh. I'll go in and take a look and see. Um, the line was kind of deceiving. When I walked up, it looked like there was only a couple people in line. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw I wound up posting pictures and the line was like wrapped all the way around, all the way to the front mall entrance. And I wasn't about to be standing in line. So for me, online works. Um, will I be stocking up on any more this season? Like I said, probably not. I'm pretty much well set, but I will be waiting to stock up during their semi-annual sale. That is definitely when I'll be getting more Bath & Body Works candles. So like I said, if you guys used of any of these fragrances, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what ones are your favorites. Let me know what you guys got on candle day. Did you guys even do, I know since I'm talking Bath & Body Works, might be a little taboo, but Yankee also ran their candle day weekend concurrent with Bath & Body Works candle day. Did you guys wind up getting any Yankee candles? Seems like Bath & Body Works sold out a little more quickly online than Yankee. I actually only wound up grabbing one medium candle from Yankee on Candle Day, and it was just one of my core scents, one of the ones I'll use year round. Um, I don't really care for Yankee candles mediums. I really wish they would have done a Candle Day on their three wicks. Probably would have got some more, but if you guys hit both places, leave it in the comments below. Let me go what you guys did this season. Before I sign off, I do also want to let you guys know I'm on Instagram. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, um, purchases, hauls, vendor wax. I'll do my candle follow-ups on there. Um, if you're on there, come find me. You guys, that's it for me today. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, an awesome, awesome start to the holiday season whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later.